Hey everybody, Amy here with Garden Up Landscape. Today what I want to talk about is a couple of um, pretty easy annual weeds, but still I want to just go over what they are and some of their uses as well as how to get rid of them in your garden. This back corner of my yard I have been neglecting. I keep telling myself I'm doing it on purpose so I can do these videos. <laughs> you know how it is. Anyway, so I'm going to go through each of these weeds and take out the ones that I'm going to talk about one and then I'm going to take out all of that one and we'll see what's underneath that one and then I'll talk about the next one in another video and etc etc so this is a whole series for weed Wednesday um, it might cover us for the next month or two all right so the first two weeds I want to talk about are both called pigweed it's a common name that covers a lot of things that pigs will eat which is a lot of things right so uh, but there's two types that I have right here, and that's lamb's quarters and amaranth. And both these weeds, they're completely different, but they look a lot alike, so it's kind of hard to tell them apart. So I'll see if I can demystify it for you. Okay, so this first weed I want to show you is lamb's quarters. It's this one. Um, it has these almost diamond-shaped leaves with a lobed, wavy margin and somewhat pronounced veins. And the leaves are often... Um, they're green but with kind of a gray cast over them and that's one of the most distinguishing features of this weed. Another really distinguishing feature is this striking red stripe on the stem um, and the stem does feel like it has corners almost like mint but it's not square it's more like a pentagon or a hexagon or something. It's got five sides. I don't know if that's a rule for all of them though but this particular one has five sides. So then lamb's quarters has these, you know, tall stalks of flowers and they make lots and lots of seeds. Okay, so that's lamb's quarters. Uh, scientific name is Chenopodium and it's in the Chenopodiaceae family, also called the Goosefoot family. The next weed I want to show you is right next to it. This variety of pigweed is called red root pigweed. Um, it's in the Amaranthaceae family, also called Amaranth, Amaranthus, and aka pigweed family. So this one um, is, it's erect, it's coarse, it's also got kind of round leaves with very pronounced veins, especially on the bottom, they really stick out on the bottom. And the flowers, these are the flowers up here. They're green, they're spiky, each one, tight clusters, each cluster is full of stiff, spine-like scales. They're very pokey. Each one of these little bracts is the bottom of a flower, and each flower makes one seed. Um, the amaranth family is an ancient grain. Like, this is where an amaranth family can also contains things like quinoa and several other grains that we eat. And both of these pigweeds um, are edible. The leaves, people put them in salads and stuff, and the uh, lamb's quarters, you're supposed to eat them with the tender young ones. All parts of these plants are edible, but I mean, they're not super tasty or anything, so you're not gonna grow them in your salads or grow them for salads or anything like that. These two particular weeds, the, they're in completely different families, but they tend to look a lot alike. They both have tall stalks of flowers. They both have kind of roundish leaves. They both have kind of reddish stems. So, you know, it can be difficult to tell them apart red root pigweed is said to have a red root. That's where it gets its name from. Um, lamb's quarters has a, a white tap root. We're going to dig them up and see. I'm starting a little bit, little ways away from the base of the weed. Okay, this is the lamb's quarters. And yes, it has a bit of a tap root. It's white. Almost looks a lot like a dandelion, to be honest. All right, that's Lamb's Quarters. There's the red root. Looks more pink to me, but you know, whatever. I didn't name it. So there we go. That's red root amaranth versus Lamb's Quarters. Both are also referred to as pigweeds. But uh, now you know the difference and how to get rid of them. Real simple. Just stick a shovel next to them and pop out that taproot. 
I'm going to weed this whole area of them and then see what weeds are underneath it. Matter of interest, once I got rid of the adults, I found some little ones. So this is a little amaranth red root pigweed. Okay, little one. Here are the cotyledons. Okay, the seed leaves. Two seed leaves. Small, almost ovate, but a little bit wider on the bottom than on the top. So that's what a baby amaranth looks like. This <coughs> is lamb's quarters see same kind of kind of wavy um, not quite serrate uh, margins on the leaves gray green and a little bitty little bitty white taproot these are both annual weeds by the way the these plants had they matured and seeded they would have died um, and not survived the winter but the seeds will come back and that's what persists um, and makes it a problem for years to come but there are little babies yummy in your salad it's good for you all right so that's all the amaranth and uh, lamb's quarters that I see right on top um, I'm also gonna dig up the common mallow because I already dig a, did a video on that one so if you like the video and learn something new make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss future videos I post weed Wednesdays every Wednesday I'm going to for at least the rest of the summer and fall and uh, I'll continue to post on flower Friday all through the winter so uh, stay tuned for the next weed Wednesday video which will be whatever weed is under all of this common mallow thanks for watching and I'll see you in the garden <laughs>